What's up, YouTube? It's Matthew Squin in Card Collecting. It's nice to see you again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something pretty different today. I'm starting to use this new software called so Streamlabs to try to make more videos. And I think today I'm going to make a, a pretty different video, which is I'm going to react to one of my older videos in which I pulled the Juan Soto Gold, which is worth which is worth a lot of money now. So basically, back in 2019, it was July of 2019. What exactly was the date? Hold on. Excuse me. What was the date? July 25th, 2019. Yeah, that was the date. July 25th, 2019. I pulled... I pulled... Um, I ended up pulling probably the biggest card in my collection... And, it, and that card will continue to grow because Juan Soto is a beast. And honestly, I think, I think definitely that card could be worth tens of thousands of dollars in the future. Sort of like Mike Trout. So let's do a quick comparison. Before I, before I get to the video, let's take a look at uh, Mike, Trout's, um, uh, Mike Trout's gold, PSA 10. If the uh, Wi-Fi will work. Come on. And it says no internet, so I guess we're going to have to reconnect the internet. And it says I'm connected. All right, so let's do a comparison. So basically, uh, Juan Soto's gold is numbered out of 2018, and Mike Trout's is numbered out of 2011. So let's take a look at it. 2011 tops update. Mike Trout PSA. Mike Trout. Let's try. Just put gold. Now this is just um the uh. This is just the base card. I think I'm gonna have to um maybe do a little finagling because I let's see if there's a PSA nine out there. Yeah, look at that PSA nine. Uh, just under ten thousand dollars for ask. Let's see what if how much they've sold for lately. Seventy three hundred dollars. $8,600. That's a PSA 8, so that's sold for a lot less. $6,200. So yeah, this card is pretty, pretty expensive. Someday, the, the Juan Soto could definitely become this thing. Let's see if this price. But let's see actually if there's um, a uh, uh, Mike Trout. Look at that, $30,000. I don't know if these sales are actually, um, what's it called, um, actually official, but that's a lot of money, honestly, because that card, like a Soto, could become a fifty, a $30,000 card, because Soto is off to a very good start in his career, and he is a monster and will continue to be for the next, I would say, 20 years. So here's the actual video. Let's take a look at it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Matthew Squin and Card Collecting. Welcome to the channel. Today I have a nice video, but before I get to that video, I'd like to give it. Uh, I was a little bit of ad living back then. Let's skip a little bit forward. Well, before I did pull a, a, before I mentioned it, I might as well let you know I. In the video, I also talk about how I, hits. how I pulled a uh, Chipper Jones autograph from a pack of a loose pack of Finest, which was actually a buyback from uh, 2018 Finest. And let's take a look at this. So here we go. So like I said, back in July of 2019, you could still find 2018 Tops update. Look at this. I got two packs for six. I think I got them for six dollars each. Yeah, look, 
let's take a look at the price, how much they are now. Yeah, they're like a hundred. They're like sixty to seventy dollars. I mean, don't get me wrong. Eighteen update is a great, pro a great product. So if you can get there for, ch if you can find products for cheap, definitely get it. So let's continue. Eighteen tops update series. Shoei Atani on the front. You know what we're looking for. We're looking for Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, Austin Meadows, all those good rookies from last. Here. Yeah, there were some more rookies in there, including uh, Glaber Torres and Shane Bieber, who ended up definitely ended up taking over some of the roles. Austin Meadows has fallen off a little bit. Shohei Otani has fallen a little bit, but Acuna still is probably one of the top rookies. But I'd say Soto is now the top rookie to, since since this stuff has come out. Oh, they're not that people. Have to I had to fast okay. forward. Nothing fixed, so no relic, like, but there could be an autograph. I'm just gonna. Back then, my expectations were to try to pull an autograph out of every pack, which is kind of, um, maybe a little bit of a dud. Dud thinking, maybe? Yeah, you can look at that right there. I was not thinking at all right there. I just pulled the cards from the back and saw this thing and thought, nope, thought nothing of it because. I just thought it was some random Nationals card, and basically I go through the go through the uh, the um, players. He's still doing his greatest. Nice guys, pitcher Matt Adams, back from Walding for the Phillies. Salvador Perez, All Star game. Good play. I used to go uh, into depth more when it came to these guys, because that's what, how I opened the cards back then. Yeah. Tommy Finn. So basically, here was the card just before the Soto. It was just the Tommy Fam. Nothing special, but... Fam, done very good for the race. And now, ooh! Soto. Juan Soto Gold. Now that is a nice pull. Yeah, it definitely is a nice poll. You're going to laugh to think what I said later. So basically, I explained to Dad what a gold card is. Get to the other card. I just want to show you something. It is actually numbered on the back. Number 268 of 2018, which means there are 2018 of these gold version cards. This is a nice hit. I've, I've, been, I've always thought since Soto came up, he's going to be a, a superstar. Estimated and value. Ten bucks? <laughs> Ten dollars for that? Man, was I ill-informed about how much this card was. His base rookie should have been going for ten dollars back in the day. Yeah, let's look. Yeah, let's. So basically, I um went through this next pack. Nothing special. Um. Let's let's get to the end of the video and see what I continue to analyze about this. Oh, yeah. Gonna be very good. He's only 20 years old and I think he has 220 hits already, and that's the numbers. All right, he thanks. Last year, this year. He played. Yeah, he played last year. All right, I'm gonna be. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna about to wrap up this break. Very nice. I'm telling you, this card is gonna be worth. This telling you, I gotta look up the value of this card afterwards. Juan Soto Gold. If this was like, if if I went back, let's say I went back in time in 2011, I've had 2011 Tops update, and this was a Mike Trout Gold, and I went back, fast forward to 2019, Mike Trout Gold is a $3,000 card. And that can tell now that the values have definitely much have gone up. So yeah, let's take a look at, yeah, so I said $3,000 for a Mike Trout Gold. I bet you that was just raw, because, um... $3,000 was still nice. I mean, like, that was before the whole card market boom. So let me take a look back at actually how much the actual value was of the card because uh, let's take a look at the actual current value of the Juan Soto Gold. I got the 
to debut PSA 10. PSA 10, that's the refractor for about... That's the refractor uh, chrome update. You're s there's no way this went for... There's no way this price went for 15 grand, because this is... No. This is not a $15,000 card right here. This is a... This is probably a fake bid, honestly. I don't know what to think of that. Yeah, look at that. PSA 6. $1,000 right there. Because, honestly, this card is pretty big right now. Look. $1,500. $1,400. $1,200. Well, that's a combo card with this variation. $4,400 for a PSA. I don't know that. Ha <laughs> ha. Looks like Alexa just triggered. $4,400 right there. $4,400 for a PSA 10 on February 18th. PSA 9, $1,300. $1,300. $1,200. Yeah, this card is a monster, honestly. Monster, monster pull. The unfortunate problem is I have not gotten this card graded. I... I can get it right now, actually, for you. Hang on a second. No. I got the card right here still. It's the Soto Gold, like I said in the video. It's pretty nice. Like I said, very, very nice card. Now if I now if I were to examine this card myself, I'd probably give this a I'd probably honestly looking at the card, front looks very, very good. Back looks very good. There is a teeny tiny little white on the back on the bottom right corner, but I think PSA would probably not care and probably give this a PSA 10 which would make this like $5,000 right now but I don't know I'm not I'm not I'm having I don't think I'm going to be grading anytime soon because of the fact that the PSA I saw that PSA's prices have gone up with their um with their grading so yeah and let's compare this to another couple let's compare this to some other players like we know Soto's a superstar. Let's compare it to like let's compare it to um Acuna. Let's see how Acuna's um let's compare it to Ronald Acuna. I know it's Ronald Acuna's um uh what's it called? Um stock has gone down uh slightly. But don't honestly I think his uh I think his um I think his stock will continue to grow, will continue to climb because he is Ronald Acuna Jr. and he's probably one of the, will probably be one of the best players of our, my generation. So let's zoom out. So yeah, um, wow, look at this. Soto's cards have been Soto's cards are really dominating. Two Ronald Acuna Juniors. You can, Someone got for six hundred ten dollars. That's three hundred. That's three hundred bucks right there. Three hundred bucks each. Four eighty. Yeah, his cards have dropped, have dropped off for a while, but I do think that his cards will definitely continue to come back up. Come the uh, uh, twenty twenty one season. Then let's take a look at some other examples. Let's put Glaber Torres in there. His stuff has dropped significantly, but I think. Honestly, it will be a very good card. Yeah, a hundred bucks. His stuff has definitely. Wow, someone got it for fifty dollars. That's a steal. Uh, that's a PSA nine. Nine PSA ten, just under, just under seven hundred dollars. Yeah, I think, I think his cards will continue to go up. And let's continue looking at the up. Uh, Let's continue to look at some other guys. Maybe like Shane Bieber. Is that mini or is that uh, 70 bucks? Wow, $32. 
telling you, this guy's a beast. I think I think these cards are very undervalued. I think I think Shane Bieber's cards should definitely go up into the I think these cards will probably go up as his his um time goes on. Yeah, his he will def his um his um cards will definitely go up. Let's see who else was in here. Uh, I know he has definitely fallen off, but let's just see. Um, let's just see how his stuff is doing. Meadows, M E A. Austin Meadows. Yeah, I mean, like his stuff has definitely um, uh, taken a plummet. Twelve dollars. That's a Chrome one autograph. Yeah, it's not going for very much, but honestly, I would buy Soto now. Continue to buy Soto until until he slumps, and then when he gets into a slump, sell, sell, sell. All right. Like I said, continue to look at other players' comparison goals. Let's take a look at uh, 2000, 2012, no. 2013 tops Manny Machado gold. Let's check out. Let's just looking at superstars golds and how they've fared. Hundred twenty five dollars for raw, ninety nine dollars seventy six, four sixty for a PSA ten. That'll probably go up if Machado has a good year. Let's see what else we have. Yelich. Yelich's stuff did um go down because of his uh lackluster. 2020, 6, 621 for a PSA 10. It's pretty good. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, PSA 8, just under 200. PSA 10, 530. Yeah, I definitely think um. In, er in order to keep up these guys, you gotta you gotta continue to play well because um, these gold cards have become significantly la valuable. Oh, another one we should look at is uh, Nolan Arenado, who just got traded. I bet you his stuff is hot right now still. 2013 tops, Nolan Arenado of gold. Let's see how much his stuff is going for. Right, that's, um, we haven't looked at those buys now. Excuse me, I gotta plug in my computer because I do not want this to die. I'm doing a. I'm pretty much on a roll right now, looking at all these guys and how much they're going for. 130, 135. What else is Chrome card? Is there a PSA 10 of this gold? Oh, look at that. Two thousand dollars, two hundred sixty dollars, four fifty. Yeah, I expect his stuff to go up once the season starts. I expect many players stuff to go up when the season starts. You're just gonna let's just look at all the um big stars. Two thousand four so we did two thousand thirteen tops update. Uh what's it called? Um we just did Nolan Arenado. Let's compare that to um maybe like uh uh Mookie Betts. PSA tens, BGS nine fives, BGS Nine five seventeen hundred dollars seventy four hundred dollars six hundred dollars for his rookie card plane fifteen hundred dollars for his oh that's the whole set actually that would be that would be a steal actually fifteen hundred dollars for all the other guys too you can get Jacob Degrom and George Springer too yeah so there's definitely a lot of guys in there because it is a very the gold cards are very very um chase after card let's look at Lindor he just got he got traded a, a couple months ago a month or two ago and I expect his stuff to definitely go on the uptick is there a PSA 10 anywhere let's see PSA 2 gold PSA 10 See if there's any gold 690, 670. I would actually say these are pretty solid investments. If Lindor definitely goes on a hot streak, these cards could go probably maybe up to a thousand dollars. But there are definitely some value guys. Let's see, uh, 
maybe even though he had also let's look at some more um i know he could get up in the the cheating scandal let's do korea One thirty-two. Yeah, his stuff is really, really plummeted ever since the uh, cheating scandal happened with the Astros. But don't get me wrong, I think he's a pretty good player, but you really don't get much for cheating. Yeah, Correa was a very hot guy back in 2015. So let's try 2016 Tops Update. Let's try uh, Trevor Story. Sotry? Nope, I want story. Let's see if that has decent money. Fifty bucks, fifty bucks. Forty bucks, I'd say that's a pretty good investment, honestly. I think he could pro this card could get to maybe fifty dollars and seventy five dollars, and you can get some money back. Don't get me wrong; I'm no money expert, but I think these cards c will definitely go up if, if they have good years. Let's see. It wasn't just let's see, Tim. There wasn't just a uh, what's it called? Um, story that year and update Snell. Look at this. Going to the Padres. And his cards are only $10. I would definitely say pick these up. Pick these up when you can. There's like Snell, maybe a Seeger. Or a Seeger. That's his, um. That's his, uh, rookie. See tops, tops, tops. Those are all um fifty eight dollars. Yeah, I definitely say these are good value guys to pick up if they're if they're doing pretty well. You expect them to have a good season? Definitely pick them up. There's there's sixteen, seventeen would be uh, Aaron Judge. I know he was on the the low end last year, but I think I think his stuff could definitely go back in the uptick if he just has a small if he has a big uptick when it comes to the uh, if he has a hot start to the season, his stuff will definitely skyrocket. Let's see. Um, Uh, anniversary, $68. This is a good, another one. This is probably definitely another good budget buy. PSA 9, $86. I would definitely suggest buying these because Air Judge definitely could be due for another big season. Let's look at some other guys from 2017. Uh, what about Mankata? 20 bucks. If he definitely has a good season, it'll continue to go up. I definitely would suggest buying Mankata. I may pick up some of them. I may pick up some myself. Don't take my word for it. I don't I don't always pick up cards on eBay too often, but then there's um uh, Cody Bellinger. Uh, Bellinger did have a very very rough season last year. Yeah, Bellinger did have a very very rough season. I definitely think his cards will definitely be on the uptick if he has a hot start to the season like he did back in 2000 and, um, what's it called, um, uh, 19. Gold. Let's see, gold. 125, 79, this is a good buy at 79 right here. And he has 8.5 for $16. I would just... Oh, that's, oh wait, that's just a base card. Is that a gold? No, that's just his base. It just says gold in the title. That's kind of misleading. It's just chrome. 100 bucks for a PSA uh, BGS 9. 50 bucks for his base. 
And I would definitely say buy Cody Bellinger because a lot of potential still. All right, let's go to let's go to 2019. Let's look at let's look at guys like Tatis and stuff. I know his stuff definitely is on the very high inflation market, but I think I definitely think that his stuff will definitely be worth it in the long run because he is a very very good player. Is this update? Well, the his update rookie debut is um going for about a hundred bucks right now, which is kind of, um, ridiculous, considering he hasn't played a full, uh, 162 games, um, look at that, 750 for his base rookie card, I wonder, I bet you there's gotta be a PSA 10, BGS 95, 1500, BGS, te BGS pristine 10, 3600, uh, let's continue. Five ninety five for his base. PSA ten twenty three hundred dollars. I definitely think that his stuff is kind of a little bit overpriced, but I think I think he could be worth good in the long run. So we got Tatis, Eloy Jimenez. His stuff definitely has gone down significantly, but I think he could be on the uptick too. Let's see where his base gold is. I gotta blow my nose actually. Wrong one. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. Let's see, Eloy Jimenez, 460 for his PSA 10. That could definitely go up. I honestly think his stuff is kind of undervalued. $85 for his base. Let's see, yeah, Eloy. I don't. I would definitely not suggest picking up Pete Alonso. I think his stuff is. I think he was just. A, I think he may just be a one-year wonder. I think definitely take a look at a uh, Vlad Jr. Considering he lost uh, 42 pounds, he went from 250 to um, 208, and the 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 look of him when he lost his weight is dramatic. Let me just show you. Vlad Jr. weight loss, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous actually, and how skinny he looks compared to um, compared to what he looked last year. This is a huge difference. It's got this big gut right here, kind of thick thighs. Looks very, definitely looks much, definitely looks like he's in much better shape here than he is here. So I would definitely suggest buying it. I would definitely suggest buying Vlad. Actually, I think he's due. He's due for a good season. Oh, look at this. This is a. This is actually a pretty good. Look at this. Uh. You get a Keston Hira and a Vlad Jr. Someone got it for sixty-three dollars for both of them, so that's about thirty bucks each. Um, see if there's any more. I don't want gold label twenty nineteen tops. Tops. I would want twenty nineteen tops update. Vlad. Vlad. And US US one five ninety nine. Yeah, I definitely think I definitely think he's definitely good value right now. With that Weight loss, I think he's due. For, I think he's gonna have a big season, a big, big season. And if I, if he doesn't have a big season, I'll, I'll do something. Honestly, I think maybe uh, I'll do a giveaway. If, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I'm just saying, 
when I see you. EGS9, $56. He, I'm telling you, he is a very good budget buy right now. I think, I think this is like a perfect, this is a perfect opportunity to buy Vlad Jr. But I think, but I think people should not just focus on the gold parallels. I think they should also focus on the, uh, the, the tops, the, the, the no number on the back. Yeah, his cards have definitely gone up. 30 bucks. What is that? He said 8. He said 8. 30 bucks, 35, 34. PSA 10 is at 200. Yeah, Vlad has a big season. I think this card will take up along with the gold version and his base version. So that's 2019 tops. Let's do uh 2020 tops with the with the just uh it's just a so let's look at the sophomore rookie guys like uh <clears throat> let's look at Jordan Alvarez gold. Excuse me, my nose is very stuffy. I have pretty bad allergies right now, and it's just really, really um bothering me so much that it's so tough to uh, uh record videos and. And uh, manage my allergies. Gold stars. No, but I want. I want an actual gold card. Oh right. Uh, PSA nine eighty one dollars. I'm not too sure, honestly, what to think about um, Jordan. He was injured last year, and maybe he could be due for another breakout year. We could look at the other guys. Maybe like uh. I would definitely not suggest, maybe Gavin Lux, he's a guy, maybe he's a uh, buy cheap guy now. Yeah, let's look at his gold. Let's see. PSA 9, four, 50 bucks. This is the gold stars, you don't want that. Um, <laughs> PSA 9, 40, 32. Yeah, this stuff's dirt cheap now. Unless he does... Unless he does something pretty big, I think, I think his stuff is gonna stay pretty, pretty cheap actually. That gold, that's a gold foil from a uh, update, not update. Uh, the jumbo. I'm gonna gold PSA ten. PSA ten. PSA ten. Gold. I don't want this gold foil. Gold. Ben Baller. Gold foil. I don't... 229 for his PSA 10. That's actually solid. I think his stuff may be a little high. On, that may be on the little high end. But I think that could maybe go down or go up. But let's look at the big guy right now. Bo Bichette. Uh, Bo Bichette gold PSA 10. Yeah, gold foil five seventy, PSA ten fifteen hundred dollars. I think his stuff is maybe a little bit, um, on the high end. But if he has another good season, I think, I think he could pull like a Luis Robert or something. And um, not a Luis Robert, like a Ronald Acuna Jr. or Ron Soto, and continue to go up huge like there's Bo Bichette then then we got the Kyle Lewis uh well his PSA 10 is $65 you want the I want his gold sorry if the video is kind of long actually I'm I thought I thought maybe this could be actually a Decent video, I guess. Uh, I would say maybe buy now, guy. Buy now, guys. In comparisons, like you saw that Soto was fourteen hundred, like four thousand dollars earlier. 
If someone can compare to him, it's pretty nice. Gold foil, gold foil. PSA 10, 2. 255, 500. Yeah, it's definitely gone down a decent amount, even though he did win Rookie of the Year. But I think, I think his stuff could be on the uptick. But then there's him. There's Luis Robert. I think his stuff is maybe a little bit overpriced right now. But if his, if they, I'm telling you, it would, it probably will be a good buy. If, if, um, dang, someone already sold the Tops Now Rookie Cup, go Rookie Cup for one of one for $8,500. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice to get $8,500 for uh, Luis Robert. Yeah, PSA 10s are about ranging from a, just I'd say like $600 to $1,000. I think they're maybe a little high. Then there's some other budget guys. Maybe we could look at some budget guys like Trent Grisham. I'm on the striker. I like striker breaks his idea on Trent Grisham. I think he's pretty good. Four twenty five for his gold from from uh from update. That's a steal. I think <laughs> definitely a guy to buy because you know actually with uh Gr what's it called Grisham, most of his stuff was in the Padres, not the not the Padres, the uh, Brewers, but when he but when it came to uh, 2020 update was his first card in the Padres uniform. So his um, so that could definitely be a thing like Yoan Moncada with the white socks. Because people are more desirable for their actual current team. Yeah, so there's that one. Let's look at uh, Mr. Randy. Uh, yes. Most of his cards are honestly going to be probably in his, uh, his, uh, his, there's his, uh, gold in his Cardinals uniform for $42. And here's, a uh, um, is that gold foil? Yeah, that's a gold foil. $31, not too, that's a little bit on the low end maybe right now because... I'd say that's a decent buy, actually. He's actually still considered a prospect. If he wins Rookie of the Year, his stuff will go bonkers. Maybe if I put Update, it'll be better. 325 $31. Yeah, I'd say his stuff's pretty cheap right now. I think he's definitely a good guy to pick up. Then we got... Then let's look at this year... Let's see, is there anyone else I forgot in 2021? Let's take a look at um uh 2021 actually. Let's look at like the new guys. Uh 2021 tops. I know he hasn't been up yet, but let's do Doadell. Gold. Hundred Alright, I gotta definitely go to sold because some of these prices could be a little bit outrageous. And definitely could be a little bit on the high end. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. Um, at a foil, wait, is that the foil? No, that's fifty-five dollars. Best offer taken. Fifty bucks. Fifty, sixty, sixty. Um, seventy. Yeah, I think I think these will go up once he starts playing and actually does well. So there's him. There's um. Who else? Uh, Alec Baum. The foil. Yeah, just about a hundred bucks right now. For right that one. Just under ninety. Sixty-nine. Yeah, nice. This is this is another one actually. I'm surprised that this one isn't actually a little bit maybe this one will take off the uh the green ice parallel. Because they're, that's something I actually like with Tops. They actually added more parallels, which is nice to see because he just got gold, rainbow foil, um, Independence Day, vintage stock. Yeah, it's nice to see more um, parallels. So there's Alec Baum, uh, Ra 
Zion Mount Castle. Zion Mount Castle Gold. Forty bucks, fifty bucks. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, I'm telling you, these are probably pretty good buys. Silver foil, that says rainbow foil. Yeah, I'd definitely say pretty good buys right now. There's the him, Brian Mountcastle, Alec Baum. Let's do Pache. Seventy three, seventy one, sixty, so a decent a decent uh what's it called? Um price. I know people aren't a big fan of pitchers, but maybe like Ian Anderson. These are probably pretty low right now. Yeah, twenty bucks, twenty one dollars, nineteen dollars. Maybe you could be like Shane Bieber and maybe win a Cy Young and be an all star perennial all star for years to come. I think definitely this is a possibility with Ian Anderson. Is there anyone else I remembered? Twenty twenty one. Um, <sighs> sorry. Like I said, I'm sorry for being kind of stuffy. Joe Adele, Ryan Mountcastle, Alec Baum. Um, I have a list actually of all the rookies uh, from uh, of all the rookies for the um that I uh for. All the rookies for uh, 2021 Series 1. I'm just checking uh, YouTube for a second. And nothing special. But definitely huge. I would definitely say again, that Soto Gold probably could definitely help me. Maybe Juan pay Soto for, Gold. Maybe pay for college if I choose to go to college. But I think honestly, that is a card I'm going to be holding on to. And it is probably maybe could be like a holy grail someday. Yeah, let me take a look of uh let me take a look at the twenty twenty one list I took down. Uh yeah, there actually are some more guys I forgot about. Maybe like uh maybe like uh Nick Madrigal. Thirty bucks. Yeah, it's just pretty cheap. I'd, I'd buy him up. I'd buy him up. Uh, Dylan Carlson, maybe. Carlson or Carlson? Yeah, Carlson. Yep, this is a little bit more premium. I think that's. That is a uh, another one to chase after, maybe. Then, uh, even though he had a disappointing season, he was a top pick a couple years ago. Maybe Evan White. Twenty bucks. Yeah, that's a decent buy if you're a Mariners fan. I know a couple Mariners guys out there that definitely like Evan White. Uh, who else did I miss? Um, I did, uh, Ryan Mountcastle. I did Joe, uh, Joey Gell. Maybe Joey Bart, even though he's not up yet. Then he's, yeah, his stuff's kind of low. It's like low, as people say, low-hanging fruit. Definitely a guy to buy now because he's super cheap. Then there is the guy who was debuted at 19 last year, uh, Luis Garcia. Yeah, his stuff's kind of ten dollars. Dang, that's a steal. Oh no, that's oh that's a gold foil. Never mind. <laughs> but still, that's a decent. I think the gold foils are actually rarer than I saw in the last year for uh, twenty uh. 
it 2020 they showed the gold foil and it said 650 compared to the gold which is 2020 which is 2020 yeah another guy to definitely look out for Luis Garcia even though he number one pick from a couple years ago uh Casey Mize Casey Eyes <laughs> Mice. I want Casey Mice, not I want Casey Mice, not Casey Eyes. Sixteen dollars, five dollars. Again, low hanging fruit. Definitely would try picking these up if he has a breakout here. And then there's a uh, my guy. I actually like uh, Bobby Delbeck. I, I predict he'll hit 30 home runs this year if he gets the chance. If he gets time to play, he'll hit 30 home runs. I guarantee you, he will hit 30 home runs. $33. Yeah, again, low-hanging fruit. Definitely would recommend picking him up. Uh, let's see if there's anyone else on this list that I think are worth picking up. Andres Jimenez. Twenty bucks, twenty bucks. Yeah, his stuff's low. A lot of low hanging fruit when it comes to twenty twenty one series one. Uh, let's see. Let's actually see if they have a complete set of twenty twenty tops series one complete series one gold complete set. if anyone actually sold an entire complete set of uh, gold from 2021 series one looks like looks like not right now but I, I wouldn't ex I wouldn't be surprised if a gold set made it onto the market within a, a gold complete set made it onto the market within the next couple months yeah, 20, let's look at 2020 complete set gold stars but you don't want I don't care about the gold stars I want gold minus stars stars and star we now want gold star and gold stars Out of 10. Uh -huh. Yeah, like I said, with the 2021 set, I wouldn't be surprised if someone put together a 2020 set of a 2020 set of um a 2020 set of uh, gold parallels. I'd probably expect it to be maybe like in the 150, 200, maybe 250 range for um gold set. For 2020. No, and I'm pretty much done. I think, I think that's nice. Uh, so uh, this was actually a pretty pretty long video. I can already see it's 49 minutes. So definitely would definitely I would definitely um, uh, recommend subscribing to the channel. I'll probably do more of these breakdowns when it comes to gold cards and stuff. So yeah, definitely subscribe, like the video, comment what you think, and at some point I'll probably open up some more cars pending if I can get out outside and purchase the cards. So thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and thank you, and bye-bye.